All right, please relax your posture, whether sitting or kneeling or laying down and take a deep breath in and a long exhale out to prepare for today's spiritual practice, keeping the Sabbath. The Sabbath is a tradition that dates all the way back thousands of years ago to Exodus chapter 20, verse 8, when the Lord gives Moses the Ten Commandments. It says, remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you, sh you shall not do any work, neither you, nor your son, or daughter, nor your male or female servant, nor your animals, nor your foreigner residing in your towns. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, but he rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day, and he made it holy. So why is this important? Well, clearly because God's commanded us to do it, um, and even made us to need the rest, but also because it has some huge benefits when we do it. So here's five. The first is spiritual renewal. So if things aren't going right on the spirit and soul level, it manifests into every area of our lives. Taking a day to receive God's love and bask in his light will give you what you need to thrive throughout the week. Also reduce stress. Taking a day off each week to rest and recharge can help reduce stress levels. It allows you to disconnect from work and other obligations and focus on relaxing and rejuvenating, especially if you don't fill it with other kinds of work. The next is increased productivity. Giving your mind and body time to rest and recover will actually help you approach your work with renewed energy and focus. Next is improved mental health. With the space a Sabbath provides, you can take time for meditation, prayer, or other spiritual practices that can help calm the mind and reduce anxiety. The next is strengthen relationships. Spending time with loved ones and friends who have the same goal of Sabbath rest will help strengthen your relationships and build a sense of community. Enhance creativity. Taking a break from your regular routine can help stimulate creativity and inspire new ideas. Despite being so good for us, it's a struggle for many of us. So let's break down what it is and then show you how we can help. Let's start by talking about nuts and bolts of the Sabbath. In most cases, Sabbath is observed on Sunday, which is recognized as a day of the week when Jesus Christ rose from the dead, but it can be on any day of the week. So there are typically five staples to every Sabbath practice. The first is rest, mm -hmm. no work. The goal is to minimize effort expended physically, mentally, and emotionally. The next is worship. This is where we're going to take time to focus on and spend time with God. Um, and we do that through prayer, singing, meditation. It could be reading the Bible. could be reading spiritual nonfiction books about him, etc. Whatever it is to help you get into worship. Yeah. Third is study. So this is where we can seek to deepen our understanding of the divine through reading, writing, and analysis. The next is feasting, maybe my favorite. Yeah, These too. should be your favorite meals, the kind that make you want to worship and praise because they're just so good, right? Some of the best meals of your week even. So prep them in advance. That way you can enjoy them by just heating them up and serving them to everybody there. Yep. And then connection. This is intended to be a family affair. So you and all of your household can participate together, even inviting other people to come and enjoy God with you. Now, we think that where you are, church, is uniquely suited to help you have an amazing Sabbath. So here's here's why we think that. The first is that we can help you promote more rest on your Sunday because you won't need to, quote unquote, put on your face, right? You don't have to gather everyone up on your rest day when you're already gathering them up every other day of the week. You don't need to run here or there. You don't need to look a certain way or anything like that. We can cut down on all of that busyness so that you can focus on the thing that's most important, you and your family Sabbathing. Yeah. Second, we provide praise and worship music so you can worship. Mm -hmm. You have full control over volume, setting, and the posture that you want to take. Not to mention it's far less distra distracting than being in a crowded room. Yes, it is. And we also can help you study by bringing in practical and biblical teaching each week. That way you can meditate on it and apply it. And then we give you back time so that you can feast because there's mm -hmm. no time taken up by travel or needing to yeah. get everyone ready to go anywhere and come back. This way your home becomes your sanctuary mm -hmm. and you get to choose the pace of your day. Yeah. And then with people that are in the live chat and Bible groups and everywhere else, you can connect with those that are outside your household digitally. That way you don't need to go anywhere to meet with people. You can do it right from your home. Um, you can be like many of the people who do church where you are uh, over Zoom with watch parties and watch it with other friends or even have friends over their house to watch with them. 
So how do we suggest that you get started? Well, you've taken the first step already by watching this right now, but there are some actions you can take to prepare for observing the Sabbath at home and incorporating church where you are into your new Sabbath practice. The first is to make it official. So talk to everybody in the house and explain the goals so that everyone's on the same page. Then put it on your calendar and structure out your day so that it gives you a time and place to take actions on rest, worship, study, feasting, and connection. Yep. Next is to gather all of the necessary materials in advance. So anything that you might need, like the food, preparing the food in advance is one of the biggest ones, getting books or any activities that you want to do with the family. Part of rest is play, by the way. So you might want to have something fun to do. Build it into the plan for the day. And then test your tech. Make sure that your computer or your smart TV is set up, Mm -hmm. ready to watch church where you are. Test your seating arrangement and audio quality to ensure it's an ideal setup for everyone that's present. Next is to limit distractions. This one seems kind of weird, but it's important. You want to turn off any unnecessary devices. Alexa needs to go to sleep, right? Any notifications that might distract you from your Sabbath observance, like your phone. You might want to put on do not disturb, set some screen time limits, shut it off, put it in a box, whatever you need. All of those are great ideas for your Sabbath. Even talking with your family members or your roommates or your friends about boundaries so that you can have an environment that's conducive for worship and everything else that you've put into your plan. And then prepare your heart and mind. Take some time to prepare your heart and mind for worship. Engage in quiet reflection Mm -hmm. or prayer before the service begins to help cultivate that sense of reverence and mindfulness. And then last is to participate and, and to participate actively, right? Sing along with the music, listen attentively to the sermon, take notes, um, even engage in the chat and, and participate in any discussions that you might have after the service is over with whoever's present with you. And I, I just believe that by taking all of these steps, mm-hmm. you're gonna be on your way to enjoying the fruit of obeying God's commands. And long before um, the end of the Sabbath rest, you'll start noticing benefits of doing this. It'll take root in your heart and it will also affect everybody else that you're doing it with. So remember the benefits we mentioned. There's the spiritual renewal, the reduced stress, increased productivity, improved mental health, strengthening your relationships, and enhancing your creativity. Look, these have been experienced by people for millennia from all walks of life and soon by you. To get this guide um, of keeping the Sabbath, you can do that now by texting the word 94,000, the number 94,000, the word WIAC praise, and we'll send you a guide on how to do all of that, everything we just said. And we want to know how it goes. So drop us a little line in the chat or the comments to let us know how your first Sabbath went.